From the earliest flickers of human consciousness, we have pondered the stars. We have gazed into the night sky, not merely to admire its beauty, but to seek answers to questions that haunted us. Where did we come from? Where are we going? And more intriguingly, can we escape the bounds of time itself? Can we travel not just across space, but across time? In our relentless pursuit to understand the cosmos, one concept has continuously sparked the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike. The wormhole, a theoretical passage through space-time capable of connecting two distant points in the universe, or perhaps two different eras in time. It is not just a tool for science fiction anymore. It is a mathematical consequence of Einstein's theory of general relativity. To grasp the profound implications of wormhole time travel, one must first understand the very nature of space-time. Imagine the universe as a vast, four-dimensional fabric, a continuum where space and time are interwoven. Massive objects like stars and planets curve this fabric, creating what we perceive as gravity. This warping allows for a possibility that space-time can fold upon itself, creating shortcuts, wormholes. These tunnels through the fabric of reality were first seriously proposed in 1935 by physicists Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen. They theorized what we now call the Einstein-Rosen Bridge, a kind of wormhole. Though initially conceived as a connection between black holes, the idea grew into a broader speculation. What if such a bridge could be traversable? The challenge, of course, is that such wormholes are unstable they would collapse the moment any matter attempts to pass through them. To stabilize them, something extraordinary is required, exotic matter. Not to be confused with dark matter or antimatter, exotic matter is a hypothetical substance that possesses negative energy density. It has yet to be discovered, and its very existence remains a subject of debate. Yet, if we assume for a moment that exotic matter is real, and that we can harness it to stabilize a wormhole, then the door to time travel swings open. The equations of general relativity do not forbid such a possibility. Instead, they whisper to us that the universe may be more bizarre than we ever imagined. Suppose we have a stable wormhole with two mouths, one located on Earth and the other transported via spacecraft at near light speed to a distant star system. According to Einstein's theory of time dilation, Time passes slower for the mouth traveling at relativistic speeds. When it returns to Earth, the two mouths of the wormhole are no longer synchronized in time. Step through one mouth, and you emerge not just in another place, but in another time. This concept alone reshapes everything we understand about cause and effect. The very notion of chronology collapses under the weight of such possibilities. What does it mean for history, for memory, for identity, if the past becomes accessible and the future becomes changeable? But with such theoretical freedom comes profound paradoxes. The infamous grandfather paradox is one example. What if a time traveller goes back in time and prevents their own grandfather from meeting their grandmother? Would the traveller still exist? If not, who travelled back in time to prevent the meeting? Modern physicists have proposed several ways to resolve such paradoxes. One is the idea of self-consistency. No matter what actions are taken by a time traveller, the outcome must be consistent with the timeline from which they departed. Another is the branching universe theory. Travelling through a wormhole may not affect your original timeline, but instead create a divergent reality, a parallel universe. Quantum mechanics complicates this discussion further. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle, quantum entanglement, and the many worlds interpretation all hint at a universe far more complex than the deterministic clockwork once envisioned by Newton. In the quantum realm, particles can exist in multiple states at once. Why not timelines? Still, the engineering required to create a wormhole, let alone maintain and travel through one, 
is beyond our current capabilities. The energy needed would dwarf anything we have ever harnessed. The exotic matter, if it exists, has never been observed, and the stability of the tunnel is questionable under the influence of any real-world forces. And yet, the theoretical foundation remains intact. General relativity allows it. Quantum field theory, in certain interpretations, does not contradict it. Time travel through wormholes is not forbidden by the laws of physics. It is merely constrained by the limits of our understanding and technology. In recent years, advances in quantum gravity, string theory, and the study of black holes have continued to fuel interest in wormholes. Some researchers propose that microscopic wormholes could exist naturally in the quantum foam that pervades all of space-time. If such wormholes could be detected, they might offer insights not only into the nature of time, but into the fundamental structure of reality itself. Consider for a moment the implications of this. A civilization advanced enough to manipulate wormholes could effectively render distance irrelevant. Planets across galaxies could be linked as easily as stepping through a door, but more controversially, the same technology might allow them to revisit their own past, or even glimpse the future. Yet such power is not without consequence. If time can be traversed, then so too can history be rewritten, or worse, fractured. The ethics of time travel through wormholes becomes an entirely new frontier of thought. Should anyone have the right to observe, let alone interfere with events long past, would changing one tragedy justify the potential unravelling of untold futures? The notion of determinism begins to waver in this light. If the future is accessible, is it truly predetermined? Or is it merely one of infinite possibilities, like paths in a branching forest, each leading to a different conclusion? Wormhole time travel challenges not only our grasp of physics, but of free will destiny and the nature of choice. Suppose a traveller from the future steps through a wormhole and appears in our present moment. Their knowledge of events yet to happen places them in an awkward and powerful position. Can the future be prevented if known? Or does the act of knowing it make its arrival inevitable? The philosophical implications run deep. Time becomes less a line and more a landscape a terrain that can be navigated in many directions with cause and effect flowing like a river that loops and doubles back. In such a universe, identity becomes fragmented. Are we defined by our memories or by the chronology in which we experience them? And if that chronology is no longer fixed, what remains of our sense of self? Even more profound is the impact this has on our understanding of death and legacy. In a world where time can be revisited, is anyone truly lost? Could the past be preserved in a living form, not just in data or simulation, but as a tangible reality that can be touched, spoken to, interacted with? Yet for all its potential, wormhole time travel is not without its dangers. A stable wormhole might act as a bridge, but also as a gateway what could travel through from the other side? If we can reach into the past or the far future, then perhaps something else could reach back. Wormholes, once open, may not be easily closed, and what lies beyond may not be confined to the limits of our imagination. Consider the very structure of space-time itself. What if wormholes, once created, exert gravitational influences far beyond what we can predict? What if they destabilize the regions around them, causing ripples that could disrupt entire solar systems? Would time travel through wormholes become a cosmic weapon, wielded not out of malice, but ignorance? Or perhaps wormholes are nature's own way of balancing complexity, a hidden function of the universe to ensure connectivity beyond what light can achieve? If so, then perhaps our discovery of them is not the beginning of a new danger, but the unfolding of a truth long embedded in the fabric of the cosmos. 
Theoretical physicists have speculated whether black holes, those mysterious wells of gravity, are connected to white holes, hypothetical regions where matter and light are expelled. A wormhole might be the bridge between them, threading the universe together in loops and folds, unseen yet ever-present. Could such a network of wormholes already exist, invisible to us, operating on scales or in dimensions we have yet to perceive? Modern interpretations of string theory and quantum gravity suggest that extra dimensions beyond the observable three might be curled up in microscopic forms. Perhaps wormholes tunnel not just across space and time, but through these hidden dimensions, shortcuts through a higher reality we cannot yet detect. And so we arrive at a crucial moment in the human journey. We stand at the threshold of profound understanding, staring into the abyss of space-time, asking questions that no other species, at least as far as we know, has dared to ask. Time travel through wormholes may remain a distant dream, but in pursuing its secrets, we are forced to expand the limits of our knowledge, imagination, and courage. One day, perhaps, humanity will pass through its first wormhole, not in fiction, but in truth. That moment will redefine who we are and what we mean to the universe. Not just travelers through space, but witnesses of time itself. Architects of our own story, unbound by chronology.